Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, I hope you're having a great day in Jesus. By the way, that's not an Illuminati sign. That's just me putting my fingers together in case some people are weirded out by that. Um, <laughs> I'm just sitting here thinking. Um, oneness, binatarianism, or trinitarianism, which is right? I remember I've done a review years ago on a book. They used to send out a lot of Pentecostal preachers about oneness, I forget the exact name. It was something about oneness, binatarianism, trinitarianism. Something similar to this, but I don't think it was that exact title. But, uh, you know, as you read the Bible, first of all, you have to realize the term oneness, even though one is referred to of God many times in Scripture, that oneness, that term's not in the Bible. Neither is binatarian, neither is trinitarian or triune or any associated term. So, um, if you want to really get into the Bible, I think it's good to just stick with biblical terms. But at the same time, you know, just because it's popular in people's minds, you just say it as designations and all this kind of thing. Now, I think historically, you can make a massive case that oneness was the original view of the church. I've done many videos on that. I don't want to rehash that ground. Now, as you're reading the Bible, and many of you see this, that binatarianism in the Old and especially the New Testament seems to be a viable option. I'm not saying it is, but it seems to be in some passages of Scripture. And then Trinitarianism, we all know that the term Trinity was not used in any sense of the term till somewhere around 200 AD. Trias, when he, excuse me, Theophilus of Antioch, when he said the term Trias in 180 AD, Theophilus of Antioch, he wasn't referring to the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. He's referring to the Father, the Word, and wisdom. And so uh, there's no reference to the term Trinity till about 200 AD. Now, some people have tried to take like uh, the Didache which means the teaching, and say it's a 70 AD document. There may be a few lines in there that are, but it's filled with interpolations, and it teaches Jesus' name baptism in its earliest sense, even though it mentions Trinitarian baptism in a later sense. So, binatarianism is going to be what most of you are least acquainted with, even though I know a former oneness guy has a pretty large church, very famous songwriting, I'm not going to mention his name, in Tennessee that has gone basically binatarian. And uh, what's popular today is Arianism, and you even get this in a lot of Trinitarianism, that you have God the Father, who's the source of the Trinity, and then the Son would be lesser. Well, that's Arianism, but there's some Arian tendencies in some aspects of Trinitarianism as well. So oneness would believe the absolute deity of Jesus Christ, Colossians 2.9, John 14.7-11, Isaiah 9.6, it seems very clear, while holding to Deuteronomy 6.4, even Tertullian writing against it kind of gives the basic outlay in 2.15 AD. And Binatarianism, getting to that, would be that God the Father is God, and then God the Son is co-equal, even though God the Son is not a biblical term, we're using, trying to use biblical terms, but I'm just communicating. God the Son, and then you've got the Holy Spirit, who's not a separate person, but God is a singular spirit, and he's just a spirit that emanates out, not in a Gnostic sense of emanation, but just goes forth and is really the spirit of the Father and the Son. And so that's what binatarian would be. And then trinitarianism would be that there's three separate, co-equal, co-eternal persons that are monotheistic, that they're not so separate, co-equal, co-eternal, that they're different, they're of the same substance. Now, some of you have been using, uh, the, you know, like one human race, but three people. Well, that traditionally, that illustration has been seen as tritheistic. And uh, a lot of people would say like space, time, and matter, that God created everything in a Trinitarian mode, Colossians 1. Others would say, well, that's pantheism, uh, like the cell, you know, nucleus, and uh, 
uh, proton, electron, neutron, you know, all these type things, that there'd be this tripartite. But it's just one cell. It's just one thing. And even human beings, people, it's called the psychological model of the Trinity, body, soul, and spirit. But you're one person. And so all these things, you know, you have water, ice, steam, but it's all H2O. But yet, and I've even, there's some Trinitarians been saying, don't use that illustration, even though that was like what Billy Graham used as an illustration of the Trinity, that you have to use like the egg. You have to use the shell of the egg and then the other part of the egg and then the yolk or the apple, that you have the skin, which is not the flesh, which is not the core. And that's Trinitarianism. I'd find it weird objectifying God in apples and eggs. <laughs> and even water, even though water is pretty miraculous if you watch Privileged Planet. But be that as it may. Um, so this is kind of the three viabilities out there that tend to maintain the deity of Jesus Christ. Now, Arianism would not maintain the deity of Jesus Christ. And then you've got all kinds of kind of unique beliefs out there, like the seven spirits of God, which is very clear, but God is a spirit. So how are there seven spirits of God? This must be manifestations of God. Like my fingers are... Um, extensions of my hand kind of thing the arm of the lord arm is extension of my body it's really the only viable way you can do it unless it's uh angels with the presence of god and or the name of god invested in it such as an exodus in isaiah and possibly um genesis 18 and 19. so which is correct oneness binatarianism trinitarianism it's been shocking last six years or so doing this YouTube channel how many people defend binatarianism because like I look around and I'm like there's no binatarian churches really I mentioned one I almost know of no other ones uh, somebody some people in Florida contacted me that are binatarian but uh, and they're like, I can see binatarian. And I wonder, too, if it's not mankind's natural reaction to try to compromise. That, okay, I see oneness is right, but I see some aspects of Trinitarianism. I'll just say binatarianism is right. So, fascinating. Hey, you can comment as long as you're kind and respectful, not hateful and mean. There's been a lot of people killed for believing like oneness and even Arianism over the, over the course of time probably all different uh, groups and so that spirit can get on people don't let it get on you let's just uh we want what's biblical and uh, again I, i've mentioned all three of these terms are not biblical i'm totally fine just going back to totally biblical language and i hope you would be too so god bless hey hit subscribe bell notification thanks for being with us put it on social media join us daily check out our playlist and uh I may have said hit the bell notification when you subscribe. Love you. God bless in Jesus' name.